Good evening and welcome to the daily market update. The DSCX remained in the red zone for the third consecutive day and lost 77.34 points or 1.26% settling at 6,079 points. Mega turnover was BDT 8.81 billion, which is an increase of 1.11% compared to the previous trading day. Walton Hightech, Berger Paints and GPH Ishpath from the industrial sector, Bragg Bank, IFIC Bank and Trust Bank from the banking sector, Titash Gas, Dhaka Electric Supply Company and Linde Bangladesh from the fuel and power sector mainly dragged down the market today. In terms of sector-wise return, almost all the sectors posted a loss today, in which the industrial sector posted the highest loss of 4.97% and textile sector registered as the second highest loss of 4.56% today. 10 textile companies were among the top 20 losers today. Kulna Printing and Packaging, Shikdar Insurance Company and Copper Tech Industries registered the highest gain, while GSP Finance Company, the Mitch Textiles and Bangladesh Finance were the top losers today. Market debutant Shikdar Insurance continued to extend its winning streak today. Copper Tech Industries registered as one of the top gainers as they posted a positive earnings growth today. The Mitch Textiles may not meet the investors' earning expectation considering that a board of meeting considering that a board meeting will be held on 31st January. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of GSP Finance Company, Bangladesh Finance and GBB Power increased significantly today. Compared to the average trading volume of the last three months, there is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Today's top two news, the country's apparel exports to the European Union plunged by 19.92% in the first 11 months of 2023 compared to the corresponding period of the previous year. The fall is mainly attributed to the economic slowdown followed by the Russia-Ukraine war. Also, the global buyers were placing orders in decreased quantity due to the national election-centered political tensions. However, now after the election and the easing global inflation, the orders have started to pick up again. The Bangladesh Bank has implemented a reduction in the overdue time for term loans, which may increase non-performing loans by approximately 80,000 crore taka. Additionally, the central bank aims to shorten the right of time from three years to two years. These two moves are expected to impact the financial health of lending institutions by potentially increasing non-performing loans and mandating higher provisions and reducing affecting profitability. However, these measures are intended to address delinquent borrowers and clear toxic assets from banks balance sheets. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Taka Stock Exchange. Follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.